Uh, Ebro in the morning. Laura Styles, Rosenberg, Hello. and a young na- lady by the name of Pavlina Asta. Yes. Hi. How are you doing? How are you? I am great. Um, the reason you're here is because uh, you're a young person who has kind of done a do-it-yourself uh, media trajectory, if you will, of having the passion and desire to want to be a media, mm-hmm. do interviews, do radio, and now you're like syndicated as like a young teen radio host. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I started my radio show when I was 11, and from there, now I have 15 stations. So that's cool. That's amazing. <laughs> More I, than us. Yeah. How you feel about your life, Rosenberg? <laughs> I don't feel I don't feel great about it. You shouldn't. Look nope. at her. Look at her. She's laughing at you. She's, She's so literally cute. she literally just laughed in my face when I looked over. She's a junior in high school, sir. <laughs> junior yeah. high school? Yeah. yeah. But I'm not even syndicated on any radio stations. <laughs> and you are 35. Mm. <laughs> Pavlina's interviewed so many celebrities. How did it start, Pavlina? How did you jump into becoming a radio personality or media personality? Yeah, well, I play steel drums, Uh and I'm from Florida, so, you know, it kind of goes, like, the whole reggae, like, Mm. um, steel drum vibe with, like, the beach vibe of Florida. Mm. So I was just, like, playing on the beaches because, you know, I felt like it. And and then I was getting, like, local interviews by radio stations because they were like, what are you doing? Like, I was, like, 10, 11 at the time. And then I was doing a voiceover for this um, company one time, and they were like, oh, you should start your own radio show. So I was like, that's cool, okay. So when I was 11, I like tried to find, like, because they actually couldn't have me because like some kind of too young liability yeah, you thingy. Well, yeah. you have to be able to work, which I think you have to be in most states 13 years old right. to actually get a job. Yeah, exactly. So for, yeah, until I was around 13, I ha- only had one station at this like really Christian station because they were like the only one that would want an 11 year old on their station (laughs) so until then but yeah yeah it was cool so that's basically how I started and then Vince Carter is from Daytona which is where I'm from and I interviewed him and then Kevin Jonas came for like this music festival thing and then I interviewed him so that's kind of how the celebrities started <laughs> so right now the 15 radio stations are you a part of like a syndicated network or you do this all by yourself i do it really old-fashioned like i just like go up to the station or i'll call them up and then i'll be like hi i have a radio show i would love to have my show on your station kind of thing so that's basically what i do at this point because you're so um how do i say motivated <laughs> right mm-hmm. I want you to help our brother Rosenberg. He yeah, wants to be where you are. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> let's, 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 let's figure it out. Let's figure it out. No, yeah. I mean, talk about it because you do a wrestling podcast. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, but what I really want to get syndicated. Wait, wait, wait. wait, okay. wait, wait. You, right. are, you do a wrestling podcast. <laughs> yep. You're on Hot 97 every morning. Mm-hmm. Uh, you do a podcast with Cypher Sounds. Mm-hmm. So you make a lot of content every week. Yeah. Oh, real late every Sunday night. Real, real, That's what I want to syndicate the most is real The late. hip-hop program. Yeah. The yeah. real hip-hop program. Mm-hmm. Okay. I want to get that syndicated. How much time and effort do you put into making that every week? I put in more than you would give me credit for. A few hours every week. A few. A like few four. hours? Yeah, three, four. And I, don't, and I never miss I never miss the show ever, ever. <laughs> well, that, okay. do you record this at home? I record it wherever I am. I, when I was in Los Angeles, I record it in Los Angeles. I, I never miss the show. It gets yeah. done no matter where I am. So how much work do you put in your radio program each week? My whole, like, a lot. <laughs> like More I do, than a few hours. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Mm, like, like, I, well, well, besides, how long? I mean, how much time do you really put into it? Because, I mean, at a certain point, you're just, like, wasting time. <laughs> I mean, is she or is she making sure her program is syndicated on 15 radios? <laughs> well, hold on. Let's talk about what markets they are. Maybe they're not even markets I'm interested in. How could you <laughs> How could you be like this towards her? You have one. She's got 15. No, I mean, I don't see why so she came to my job so, trying to hate on me. She wasn't trying to hate on you. We were trying to highlight a young person with great. Trying work to hire her? You said you're trying to hire her? Yeah. It's Ebro in the morning with Laura Styles and Pavlina Osta. Oh, or it, oh. it might be real late with Pavlina. Yeah. I like oh. the sound of that. I like that too. Okay, well, well, what markets are you in? Well, there. Okay, so there's like different ones. There's like just like ones. All I don't know. I just like call them up, you know. They're so like, what, like uh, but are there any cities like in particular that you, you know, that you do the show in that you have gotten good feedback from, et cetera, et cetera? Yeah, there's a lot, like especially like a lot in Florida, because you know I can just go to the the place and and you know, go connect with people mm-hmm, directly. Exactly. Instead of like you know calling them up, there's actually this station in Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Yes, yes, that's how you say it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they're actually a high school station, which I think is really cool. But they have like over eighty thousand listeners or whatever. Yeah. Wow. It's, I know, right? That's crazy, isn't that's it? That's really crazy. Yeah. I was like, that's kind of insane. Well, because I've heard of college stations that have huge yeah. audiences. That's W H U R in uh, mm-hmm. D C. That's yeah, yeah, but they're not even really a college. They're kind I mean, of they college are station. technically. Technically, <laughs> but like yeah, there are some places that have really huge stations, like Georgia State. I know has a mm-hmm. hundred thousand. Really? 
thousand watts in the middle of oh Georgia. Gosh. Yeah, and they go very far. But a high school station, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, it is. And I've gotten a lot of good feedback from them and like my Tampa stations and stuff. So that's really cool. Yeah. Thanks. Um Tampa's a good market to be in. Um mm-hmm. You're not in that market. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> and Hulk Hogan has a um, oh, restaurant yeah. there, so mm-hmm. I, I, maybe I go down there and work for work with Hulkster. Yeah, so maybe Hulk you get the wrestling there. podcast on in Tampa with the help of Hulkster and Pavlina. Yes. Yeah, there you go. I could go do it live from his restaurant, Hogan's Beach. <laughs> the re, the re, I wanted to talk about that, but I also wanted to point out because a lot of people approach us right all the mm-hmm. time, right? They, I want to be in radio. How do I go about doing it? Blah blah blah. So you started. Someone gave you the idea to do a radio show. Yeah. You started doing the radio show. Mm-hmm. And then you started calling radio stations to see if they would carry your program all by yourself. Yeah. Now you have a publicist. Yes. Who reached out to us. Pretty (laughs) cool. And how did that go? How did that come about? Well, I've had like other like PRs too, and they've all been out of Florida because you know it's just easier Florida. And I don't know, like they weren't they weren't as. Did you call them also? Yeah, I called them. Yeah, and like I would, my mom would do a little bit of like helping me out because I, I am still in public school so they would she would help me reach out a little bit to them too so she would make some phone calls for you yeah so you're recording the programs where exactly in my room <laughs> I have like an mp3 and I like pre-record everything and then I put it all together like on GarageBand I kind of want to like get out of GarageBand but you know that's a whole different and conversation wait yes. we can talk about that I can maybe <laughs> yeah. help you with that really? maybe I can offer okay. her some help well, like yes. pro, get her on the Pro Definitely. Tools yeah, well, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, I don't use Pro Tools. I use something even easier. That's a kind of between GarageBand and yeah. Pro oh, Tools. Oh, so like okay. an intermediate. Between yeah, well, it doesn't require the plugins and outside stuff that Pro Tools requires. Got it. You okay. can just jump right on your computer and do it. But I think it's a little easier than um, than GarageBand, which is kind of clunky to me. It is. I don't. I'm not crazy about it, but it's like the only thing I. I don't know. I haven't really because that's what I've always used. And like for my video editing, for like my uh, interviews, that was like a little bit more. For me, I guess you know, like so. I went from iMovie to Final Cut Pro X, which is like my life now. I love it. You love Final Cut Pro X, yeah. So you like edit it. all your videos, also. Yes, yeah. Awesome. I like editing. It's fun. I mean, this <laughs> Rosenberg. Yeah. How do you get your videos done? Me? Yeah. Well, I used to edit my videos, mm. and now we have a. That's fine, how you got here. Yeah, but now we have a team here. Now we have a great video department. We have yeah. an amazing <laughs> yeah. video department. But so, do you, do so I do you, even less work. The, yeah. the stuff that got you here, like the parody songs and the videos. I do parody songs here and there. Oh Not really? The, yeah. Yeah, here that's there, cool. You know. But not. <laughs> I don't not not the videos that you were hoping I would do. No, no I don't want to do that. Um, All right, probably not. What are, yeah, what are change subject. Yeah. What, else, what, what are some of your favorite interviews? Your favorite celebrities that you've gone to sit down and chop chop it up with? There's been a lot because like there's been over four hundred. So uh-huh. it's like oh my gosh. Um, I love you know I obviously that's loved- almost too many. Let's be honest. <laughs> so too many interviews. <laughs> too many interviews. <laughs> I know, like I forget after a while. It's like you gotta go back to the YouTube and just like. You what know? is the YouTube, by the way? Oh, I'll tell you what it is. Oh yeah, it's on. It okay. is YouTube.com slash Pavlina. Oh, Asta. 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 Yes. Asta, Asta, Asta like pasta. pasta. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Asta like yeah. pasta. So, um, but yeah, I've obviously loved all the boy bands. Like there was like Big Time Rush, Rickston, um, uh, Hot Shell Ray. There was like all of those, and then there was like Ed Sheeran, and but I really like. You interviewed like, Ed Sheeran. Yes. Mm. He's cool. We talked about like Legos and like mm. Lord of the Rings for like ever. <laughs> it was really funny. But yeah, and then How you feel about it? I never <laughs> had I've never had a Jern before. Mm. Never had. He's him. cool. What about Shaquille O'Neal? You interviewed Yeah, Shaquille. I interviewed mm. uh Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, yeah, he's like all my like athletes and everything. Like and since being from Daytona, uh we have NASCAR. So like all the NASCAR races it was actually pretty cool because I was never allowed to be on um like the garage area mm-hmm. where the cars are because of like you have to be 18 for insurance and stuff right. and i was actually the youngest one to be on the track and i'm still not 18 so it works <laughs> i don't know if you're Pretty supposed awesome. to say anything because i mean it yeah. might get NASCAR yeah, don't trouble, dry but... snitch on yourself come on yeah. <laughs> we gotta teach her we gotta teach her these things so she's getting yeah. nascar interviews yeah uh shaquille o'neal ed sheeran he's cool any other oh, names anyone any other else? Name? yeah well i like all the like the legendary people i think they're really really Uh-oh. cool yeah. like who well like there was like Greg Greg Almond was really cool. And no one said I would Greg like, Almond from the Almond Brothers. Yeah, it's no a one. one. Ew, it's a major. That's a major. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no one said I would like everyone was saying, Oh, you're not gonna like him. Like he was he wasn't nice or whatever. And I thought he was really nice. Really? He liked yeah. you. Mm-hmm. Well, you, you have a, see, the thing is, you are you have a really good situation because you're really good at what you do. You work yeah. really hard. Yeah. 
and you are very young and sweet. So you put people in a situation where <laughs> if they are mean to you, they're basically going to hell. Yeah. So <laughs> they're gonna look nuts. You gotta take advantage of that. So you know, you might even you might even be able to ask tougher questions than they yeah. would ever expect because if they turn around and act mean to you, they look totally crazy. Yeah. So you should so use that to your benefit. True. I See me, like. like I'm a gross like <laughs> dishe disheveled disgusting man <laughs> so people already come in wanting to be mean to me i have to be really nice yeah but you could be a lunatic and they'll basically <laughs> still answer all your questions yeah. so what is your ultimate goal with all this what would you love to do when you grow up i want like over like 500 stations like that would be like the best like that would be amazing like why that number why 500 well because i don't know like I well, I first of all, I want like to go more into like broadcast journalism, so like to get like a TV kind of like Oprah Ellen sort of thing, mm. and do it like on TV because I would love that. And then I want to keep up with the radio stations though because that's been my springboard to like everything else. So she's yeah. got a good plan. Know, I, yeah. It's in place. Yeah, this Pavlina's is all planned awesome. out. <laughs> Pavlina Asta is her name. Like yes. pasta. Like pasta. Like pasta. Um, now talk to us about like what are you into right now? Like what are the things that Pavlina and Pavlina's listeners are into? I mean, there's a lot of heavy news out there. There's a True. lot of stuff going on in the world. There's a lot of new music. Like mm -hmm. what's the big topics that when you're thinking about the stuff that your listeners want or want to talk about when you're doing your interviews, what are those things? It really depends on the interview. Like if like when I interviewed Shaq, um it was, it was at a book signing, so I would talk about his book or something. I don't oh, so know. you do like, research? Before yeah. You. Oh, I do so. Oh my! Each one is like a book report. Like, mm. yeah. How much time do you <laughs> spend researching Rosemary? <laughs> I mean, it depends on the interview, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Some interviews a, a good amount, and others less. It just depends. <laughs> Can you define good amount, please? <laughs> um. Well, you name the person, and I'll tell you how much research I do. Pavlina Asta. I, you know, I. <laughs> Grabbed her card. <laughs> Here it is. I uh, I read over the back of her card. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I awesome said this morning. Excuse me. I said this morning. My direct quote was, "Who's Pavlina Asta?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Laura yeah. answered, and I said, "That sounds really interesting. I'll be there." Yeah. And I'm here <laughs> and asking questions. So I did my. That I was do, your contribution. Yeah, I did some yeah. research. You know, yeah. depends. So <laughs> any tips you would give to the young people watching this? Um, I'm sure a couple of people are gonna click on this who want to be where you are or yeah. want to be where we are, right? Definitely. Um, what's some tips that you would give them? Like, what's the one thing every day that you're making sure you're doing, and mm -hmm. what's the few things that you're working on to get better? Yeah. Well, I think well since I started when I was 11, and like. By the time I was at least 13, like I knew this is what I wanted to do. So I think starting off when you're like younger and finding what you want to do when you're younger is really like beneficial. Like it's really it, like help, I don't know because that way I'm not like thinking about because I have a lot of friends that like don't know what they want to do. You know? Oh no! At 15, <laughs> <I'm> just, well, <laughs> but actually I'm teasing. But yeah, yeah, it's yeah. very funny that yeah. you are 15 years <laughs> old and that is literally the number one bit of advice that I give to people who are her age and older. Yeah. I say, you should really, if you can figure out what you want to do yeah. earlier, it's a lot easier to get there and you're mm -hmm. living proof of that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, thank you. <laughs> because I don't, yeah, I just think it's so much easier because now like, I, like when I was at NYU, I know what schools I want to go to, like what I would want to study and all that stuff. It's just, I feel like it's so much more planned out and like, yeah. Sidebar, yes. um, I met Pavlina at yeah. NYU. I mm -hmm. went and talked to a class there. They have a uh, Clive Davis music program, mm -hmm. and she yes. was one of the high school students in said program. They oh, got wow. invited to oh, live okay. in New York for the summer. Wow. Yeah. And so she had to turn in all of her accomplishments that she was trying to be in media around music, blah, 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 mm -hmm. so that she could get accepted to the program. Yes. Wow. Okay, very good. So that's that one of our first meetings. Got yes. it. Okay. It was very cool. Everyone well, have you got? Wait, hold on. I mean, that was one. You said one of your first meetings. Did you have other? Did second, you, right now. Yeah. It's the second meeting. <laughs> Do you think this will probably be it, though? You won't have any more meetings, probably. This well, I think I'm going to have her back. Yeah. Oh, cool. I need, yeah, I need some uh, yeah, we're talking about that. Yeah. show prep help. Mm. Yeah, I need definitely. someone to do research because I love yeah, research. She's a, yeah, but she's got school. You know, uh, we can she's communicate busy. while you're yeah. at school. Yeah. Eh, you don't want to distract her. <laughs> I just think she should <laughs> probably just do her schoolwork and work towards the future. Do you see what's happening here? You yes. understand what he's All trying right. to do? <laughs> No. And you're okay. You're gonna because when you get I'll to this, I'll move up to New York. It's okay. <laughs> no, I don't think you should. Talk, talk, uh, yeah. <laughs> Florida's, Come on, Pavlina. Florida's got a lower cost of living. Um, Better like tax Florida. situation. It's boring. No, Florida's the best. You no. just stay in Florida. <laughs> stay in Florida. What city are you in? Tampa. 
Oh, well, no, Daytona. Daytona. Just, oh, like, Daytona. Mwah, one, of the best, <laughs> one of the best cities in the world. Culture. It's got culture. It's got food. It's got class. It's got NASCAR. It's got everything you need. I don't see why you should ever come here. You should go to but, Daytona. But, Pablina, what, <laughs> you what you're switch? witnessing. All right. I'll, you know what? I'm going to yeah. go to Daytona. <laughs> what you're witnessing is actually the competitive event environment that is the largest media market because yeah. people will as you can see Rosenberg, mm. try to deter you from potentially taking their slot. I'm not trying to deter her. I just we think Florida's nice. We co-anchors. Or <laughs> I don't know. Wait, you wouldn't stand next to Pavlina Asta? You wouldn't? You think you're too... I, just I have, mean, it seems... No. Like, I, I, listen, I think she's great. Pavlina, are you into wrestling at all? Um, I'm a black belt in karate. Ooh. <laughs> so she can kick like, your I ass, too. much more than that. But yeah. A black belt in karate? Yeah. She yeah. works harder. She can kick your ass. <laughs> it's tough for you out here, Rosenberg. It's quiet. <laughs> it's very quiet for me out here right now. So, um, those things you focus on for work. I took yeah. you on a oh, tangent. Yeah. So, your your daily is mm -hmm. focusing on what? Well, uh, besides, you know, you know, going to high school and stuff. Um, I I don't know. I do a, like a lot of research, and like like we were talking about before. I think research is like super important, so you know your like subject. You know, mm -hmm. um, but I like. I find out who's coming to Florida because, like, I do. I go on location for all of my interviews that are around Florida, or like if it's a red carpet in like Nashville or New York or LA or something, I go there. Um, but I find out who's in like the area. I'll do the research for them, and then I'll send out a media request to see if I can get that. If I get the interview, then you know, yay! And um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, so I'll do the interview, and then once a week I have my radio show, and I usually do like on a Monday, Tuesday, because mm -hmm. there's some stations on Wednesdays and like Saturdays, so it's like different days. And I'll you know put the show together, mm. and then yeah. Takes hello, time. hello. <laughs> hold on, guys, hold on. Yeah. Ooh, this is your team. They said we gotta wrap it up. <laughs> yep, she'll be right out. She'll be right out. Okay. And more hate from Rosenberg. Pavlina, you have successfully made Rosenberg uncomfortable. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank yes. Yes. Thank you. Congratulations, Pavlina. Uh, there's some young people standing in the room right now who you've made barf on themselves because you're outworking them. Thank you. <laughs> And uh, I just want to thank you for being uh, a yeah. great person, working hard. And before we let you go, mm -hmm. is there anything you want the audience to know about you mm -hmm. or how to find you and interact with you? Yeah, totally. Um, so, yes. Oh, my God. Hey. Um, so my YouTube channel, which has all my celebrity interviews and everything, is YouTube.com forward slash Pavlina Asta. It's now Asta. We changed it. Um, and then I have Facebook, which is just Pavlina Asta. It's all Pavlina Asta. So that's, you know, Twitter, Instagram, or, yeah, Instagram and everything. So Very yeah. good. Pavlina Asta, ladies and Yay, gentlemen. Pavlina. She works harder than you. <laughs> She's smarter than you. Why? She's overall better than you. Why are you looking at me when you're saying this? <laughs>